Hey everybody. Today's video is going to be about research. Uh, you might want to hit pause right now and maybe stretch and get a cup of coffee and get ready for some really boring information. No, I'm just kidding. I promise it won't be boring. <laughs> I am just trying to figure out how people do research about different orchids. Um, I'm a librarian, and part of what I do all day is research. So I thought I'd share with you my research process and then get your opinions and your tips, tricks, whatever it is that you want to add. So um, this is the plant that I'm doing research on, and it's the plant that I have mounted to the cool log. I don't know if you remember that video. Here it is. Um, and my plant is just not doing anything. I keep moving it to brighter and brighter locations and it still does nothing. I keep it moist all the time. Maybe the problem is that I keep it cool? I don't really know. But um, here is what I'm trying to find out. What do I do? Where do I move it? Should I move it? Should I repot it? Should I do something different that I'm doing incorrectly now? Well, this is the question. So this orchid is a species, and the best, well, that's the wiki, but the best place to go for orchid species that I found online thus far is orchidspecies.com. You can see how many plants there are. I mean, this is just the index, and I did a search for the plant that I'm looking for, and it pops up, right? So here it is. And it's got a bunch of names next to it, which if you look at this, you might think, I don't know what that is. That's weird. And then it has a section where it's located. And then it's got a whole bunch of these little pictures to tell you how to care for it. So when you click on it, it gives you this giant image. I mean, how beautiful is that? That's what I want. I want that in my life. Also, it apparently smells like, I think, chocolate. Um... So here's lots of information about the plant itself. It gives you the common name, and it kind of tells you where it's located, where it, where it originated, when it was first, quote-unquote, discovered, the flower size, and then it gives you a little bit of a description. So in this case, it's telling me what it looks like. It's telling me why it's given this name, because it has this distinct tooth-like point, um, and, and then it gives me a whole list of synonyms. And this is really useful because when you know what things were called before they were given the current name, that Begenium's current name, you can keep doing research. You can look it up under these other names. And then it also gives some references. Now, obviously, this is not the best website. It's very lo-fi. It's a little bit hard to read. And this is my least favorite part. I mean, can it just tell me how to care for it? Why do I have to look up what the heck each of these little symbols stands for. Ugh. But once you look it up, you see that it's part shade. It needs humidity, a lot of humidity. Um, it's intermediate growing. And I forget what the, what the ocean thing is. What is that thing? Ugh. I have to look it up. Um, what's the ocean thing? Let's find out. Orchid species, ocean thing... Oh, here we go. Summer. It blooms in the summer. What the heck? Who decided these symbols? So silly. All right. So that's basically orchid species. It gives you that information. Then if you move on to click uh, one of the links that was in the previous site on orchid species, you get this website, a plant, the plant list, a working list of all plant species. And actually, I might have gotten to this from Google, which is where I typically start right? You start off with Google, you type in the orchid that you're interested in, and then you see what pops up. So again, here we've got all the synonyms. And then there's a bunch of links at the bottom. Many of them do not work, so I don't recommend clicking them. But maybe you'll get luckier than I am. Um, I was really trying to get into this JSTOR plant science, because for those of you who are familiar with JSTOR, it's a really good database. But uh, I still have to fiddle with that. So anyway, this is very simple. Here's the orchids wiki. Again, doesn't give that much information. But it does say that it grows in intermediate to warm temperatures with medium amounts of light. Keep plant moist and fertilized during growth season. During winter, 
withhold watering until new shoots appear. So that's interesting. That has not shown up. Grow in a well-drained mix of sphagnum moss or medium fir bark, and plants can also be mounted. So this is why I kind of tried it in sphagnum at first. Uh, it didn't really work out. And even though it is summer and it should be growing, it's not. So I have been fertilizing it in the hopes that that helps, but alas, it has not yet. So here are some other synonyms, and there's some more photos and stupid commercials. All right. So what else can we do? Well, again, there's Google. And Google Images sometimes is helpful because it shows you sometimes images of the plants in their natural environment, but sometimes it's hard to tell if this is the right plant or not. And often you can see how it's potted, but you don't necessarily know if it's potted in a way that will be good for your environment. So what else do you do? Well, I've heard that a lot of people have luck with, uh, we with web-based boards where you post something and people can respond. I myself have not signed up for any of those. And if those of you are on any of these like orchid boards, if you could recommend good ones, that would be really cool. Um, because I'd I'm a little bit overwhelmed by the whole internet orchid board thing. It just seems like there's so many people who have ideas that it's a little bit overwhelming. But one of the last things I wanted to do um, was show you, let's see, where was that? Was it the world checklist of select plant families? Hmm, let's click this link. Remember I told you that most of these links don't really work. One of them had a really old photo or an image of one of the earlier etchings. Oh, great. Service temporarily unavailable. Thanks a lot. But I found it over here in Google anyway. Um, this is one of the earlier images of a an etching or drawing a plate, a printed plate that was made of that begenium. So you can see that it's, oh, it's actually mounted. Very interesting. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is going on eight minutes. Let me know how you do your research. This was just the internet-based research. I haven't gotten to the book-based research. If you're interested in that, let me know. Otherwise, I will spare you. But if you do want me to talk about uh, orchid books, I can do that as well. Anyway, have a great day, and let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.